today i'm going to show you uh, my version of the pesaretto batter so pesaretto is actually you know a, a kind of a dosa batter uh, it's very popular in south india and uh, they, they eat it for breakfast they eat it for dinner and uh, if you know me right now i always like to customize my dishes and also my kids are two very fussy eaters so i need to really customize food a little bit according to their needs so this is my as i said this is my version and you know i always believe that when we cook <clears throat> it's good to experiment um to find out what your family likes or doesn't like and adjust according to that so this may not be the um you know culinary standard of pesaretto batter but it is going to give you a very good uh, outcome so and and my kids really like it so um yeah let's I, i'll go ahead and show you what i'm doing now for the ingredients uh, before i go to the ingredients this is the measuring cup that i usually use um i think it's really a little smaller than you know the regular cup but again whatever you are used to measuring always use that so that the proportions will just work out uh, you know fine you know when you're trying to measure and you know to understand what quantity is needed so what i have done over here is that uh, if you see i have used here the uh, it's called green moong dal you get it in any indian store or asian store this is the one with the the skin on so it it's it has a, definitely lots of fiber the nutrition content is quite high in this so it's very you know again very good for kids so what i have done but one thing though i feel this takes a longer time to kind of uh, soak so i always prefer to soak this especially if i'm making anything with this i like to do it uh, soak it overnight so this has been soaking for more than you know more than 8 to 10 hours so i just put it on in the night before going to sleep and i have taken one and a half cups of this so this is what i have taken the next thing i have over here is that um i have here it is a combination of few fenugreek seeds so fenugreek seeds we just add for well, i'm going to ferment this batter you need not ferment pesaretto batter normally it is add you know used as is or you know soon after it is the grinding is done but i always like to ferment the batter so i'm going to ferment it today i'm going to show you that version but if you have seen i have also added urad dal and i have also added rice so i have added 1 cup of rice i used idli rice you can use any kind of rice that you have or you can completely especially you know if you are um, uh you don't want you want to avoid rice you can completely avoid the rice that that is perfectly fine too it still works well but i did add one cup of rice and i added half cup of urad dal i would not recommend you to skip the urad dal because you know you can also try to make idlis idlis actually also come out quite well with the same batter but i feel you know urad dal always gives and it it's a, it's a nice always a good addition so you know i'm going to uh, this is what and this also has been soaking overnight next um so as i told you you know i need to find smart ways to sneak in the um, nutrients to my kids so this is i have taken 1 cup of spinach um this is like um totally optional uh but yeah, if you like me you like to put in spinach put in spinach you can even put cilantro you can put any kind of like you know some something to make it a little healthy so i'm going to add this in my batter Now there are two ingredients here this is ginger this is cumin this is cumin seeds now usually people always put this in a pesaretto batter but my kids do not like any strong flavors you know both ginger and cumin i feel are you know like most on the stronger side so i'm going to skip these two but if you are making it i would highly highly and if i was making it just for myself i would definitely add this because it gives a very good um, very nice taste and then of course salt uh, is a one more ingredient here so we are going to add salt because i'm going to do the fermentation um, afterwards i'm going to add the salt later but you can add the salt you know in the beginning itself you know as soon as you finish the grinding process and you know if you if you need to serve it immediately so yeah so these are the ingredients and we are just going to grind the batter and prepare it. i want to use a mixer grinder a mixer today So what I have done is that I have taken, uh, if you see, I've drained out all the water which was soaking, and I've taken only half the quantity because we are going to grind this in batches. 
and I'm going to take the spinach. Let me add the spinach here. And as I always say, whenever you use the mixi, try to use the refrigerated water uh, because that it, it prevents the mixer from getting very hot. So that way your batter remains, you know, good quality. So roughly around, I'm going to put around um, half a cup uh, to grind this. going to uh, so if you see i'm going to try to grind this in batches but uh, make sure that your batter is nice and smooth that there's this the um, peels of the moong dal make sure they are nicely ground it didn't take me too much of time i think i i kept adding a little water in between as needed but this is the texture with which you want it you want it to flow like this um so um, it took me maybe around totally around three to four minutes and I'm going to start transferring it into a bowl. So what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, keep grinding the batter in batches. Uh, so I'm going to do the other batch of moong dal. And then finally I'm going to put the rice and the urad dal. And um, then we are going to give this all a very nice mix. Okay, so I have ground my last batch. As you can see, this is the last batch of the rice and the urad dal. So totally I had to go like three times, maybe four minutes or three to four minutes each. So around 10 to 12 minutes. And you see I've maintained the texture. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take everything from the bowl. From the mixing jar and transfer it to the bowl. Just wash down the mixi a little more just to get whatever is remaining there. Okay, and uh, now let us give this a nice mix. As I had mentioned before, this batter, uh, you need not ferment it. You can give it a very nice mix, uh, add salt in it and start making the peserotos immediately uh, on a tawa or a uh, pan or a griddle that you have. But I'm going to ferment this and I'm, it, it's, uh, it's the morning time for me here. So we are going to have it for dinner tonight. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to allow it to uh, ferment. So one thing with the fermentation and I find this works very well is to use your hands, your bare hands. Because this, we have not used any kind of a starter. We have used the fenugreek seeds. But you know, we really don't use a starter or anything. And mixing it by your hands, that is the heat and you know, the yeast that you have, the natural yeast, it kickstarts the whole fermentation process. So if you see here, it's a nice smooth batter and giving it a very nice mix here. So you see it, it, the color is nice and green. A little more you know, greener tinge because we added the spinach. And now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cover this with a lid. I mean, also I feel covering with, with a lid really helps because, you know, otherwise I've seen the batter just start drying up from the side and, you know, it tries to thicken out a little due to evaporation. So I always feel it's always best to cover your um, a batter. And if it's a hot day or you are in a hot place, it's okay to just leave it, you know, um, out for like six to eight hours. It just beautifully ferments very well. Uh, but in the place I live, it um, you know, it, it, it is a warm day. But still I've seen that the fermentation takes more time. So I'm going to use an oven to ferment it. And I'm going, I've, I've preheated my oven for around uh, 200. Um, and I'm going to put it there in for like 6 to 8 hours. And once it's fermented, I will show it to you. See how it is and uh, we can um, you know, try to make the dosas as well. 